make a habit of reading too. Reading simplest words, simplest sentences, those are specially written in the books of the kids and read it repeatedly. Those books are very much helpful, especially for the spoken English learners. For spoken English learners, heavy books, complicated sentences are not useful at all, are not useful at all. We never speak those words, those sentences. We never speak. Those words are for making literature. Those words are for making literature, not for spoken English. If we use those words, some people will understand, some people won't understand. So what's the result if 50% of the people won't understand what you are saying? Hello and welcome friends. Wish you all are doing well and you are watching me on Knowledge Versatile. Knowledge of English and spoken English skill both are quite different. You may have great knowledge on English. It doesn't mean that you will be able to speak. Thousands of people, thousands of people, they have great knowledge on English. But knowledge of English doesn't ensure that one will be able to speak. Speaking ability is quite different from the knowledge of English. It is sure to speak in English, you must have knowledge on English. You must have some knowledge of English. But knowledge of English doesn't ensure that you will be able to speak. So only gathering knowledge, only learning English is not sufficient to speak in English. You may do some clerical work, you may do some paperwork, but it doesn't mean that you will be able to speak. To acquire the knowledge of spoken English, you need to speak. You must have the practice, regular practice of speaking. Only after that, you will be able to some extent to speak. Now, there is a question. From where we should start learning spoken English? You may have great knowledge on English, but it's specially not required to speak in English. When we speak in English, we use, normally we use simple sentences, simple constructions and simple words so that people around us, they can understand and they can feel what I am saying, what we are saying. On the other hand, it is easier for everyone to understand when you speak simple English. And in case of grammar, without grammar, it is quite difficult. Without grammar, it is quite impossible to learn spoken English. Yes, without grammar, it is quite impossible. You must have basic knowledge, at least basic knowledge of grammar. Without basic knowledge, you will be completely foolish if you speak in English. You even won't understand where you are making wrong, where you are making mistakes. So you must have basic knowledge. You must have basic knowledge of grammar, English grammar and basic English knowledge. Basic English knowledge, basic English grammar knowledge. You should have this. You won't have to be a scholar before speaking. You won't have to be. There are lots of scholars, they have great knowledge on English, but they are not great speakers. They are not great speakers. To be a speaker, you need to speak. You need to express your thoughts regularly. Only after that, you will be able to be a speaker. And never try to use complicated grammar in your spoken English. When you will be speaking, just apply basic grammar. Basic English grammar is sufficient to be a speaker. If you try to apply complicated grammatical rules in your spoken English, your speeches will be terrific. Your speeches will be horrible. It will be quite different. People won't be able to understand your words simply. But to be a speaker, you want your words should be understood simply. People should understand your all the words, all the sentences 
clearly and whatever you are speaking everything should be crystal clear and for that you need simple english and simple grammar and where from should we start on the basis of simple english knowledge we should start story books books of the kids those books are very much helpful in case of speaking english great knowledge of english is not essential when we speak when we speak we use simple words simple sentences those are normally used in the books of the kids the story books the simple descriptions those are very much essential if you read these books if you read those stories repeatedly for several times when you read those stories those descriptions for several times you will understand the gist you will understand the inner meaning of the story now try to speak those stories those description by yourself and when you will be speaking record your voice record your video and at the time of recording you will be cautious start recording you will understand you will be cautious and when you will be cautious sometimes you may make some mistakes and sometimes you will speak very perfectly and for the next time when you will listen your own words you can rectify if there is any mistake and you can understand also whether you are speaking properly correctly where rectification is needed you can do all this on the other hand for your practice purpose if you normally practice and if you practice in presence of in front of a camera both are completely different if you speak in front of a camera you will be under a simple pressure you will be under a simple pressure and you may have some problems this is the pressure and the problem when we speak in presence of others at home there is no pressure there is no hesitation we can speak but in presence of others it is quite different even the simplest words we cannot remember we cannot remember the easiest sentences we sometimes we sometimes make mistakes to speak the simplest words that's why we need the synonyms it means similar words we should know the similar sentences similar words nearest sentences nearest words nearest word meanings if we cannot speak if we cannot express a particular sentence we can express them in a different way those are needed so to start learning spoken english we need basic knowledge of english we need basic knowledge of english grammar and then most essential is that we need to speak we need to speak every day and our spoken arena our spoken purpose is different at different times suppose you are in a restaurant there what sentences what sentence constructions you will be using are quite different from the words you will be using at your classroom the words and the sentences will be quite different when you are talking when you are speaking in a playing ground when you are speaking at home so place wise your spoken pattern are completely different spoken words are completely different spoken sentences are completely different so those will be learned gradually step by step first start learning using simple words simple sentences and make a habit of listening make a habit of listening such as at present i am speaking try to listen my all the words and try to imitate what i am speaking try to speak those words once again and make a habit of reading too reading simplest words simplest sentences those are specially written in the books of the kids and read it repeatedly those books are very much helpful especially for the spoken english learners for spoken english learners heavy books complicated sentences are not useful at all are not useful at all we never speak those words those sentences we never speak. those words are for 
making literature those words are for making literature not for spoken english if we use those words some people will understand some people won't understand so what's the result if 50% of the people won't understand what you are saying so i am not extending my words anymore for more spoken english videos check out my playlist lots of spoken english videos are there go listen to them and make a habit of listening i'm concluding here love you all bye